Hello, I'm Paritosh, a PhD student at Clemson University. I'm here to present our paper titled Overlooking Context. How do defaults and framing reduce deliberation in smart home privacy decision making? This research is a collaborative effort between research groups at Clemson University, USA and Eindhoven University of Technology, Netherlands. The funding for this research is provided by NSF and NWO. Privacy decisions, especially in smart homes, depend on various contextual factors, such as which devices collect data, which devices receive that data, and how all that data gets stored. Ideally, we want privacy decisions of smart homes to be based strictly on these contextual factors. Our previous research found this to be true. Additionally, we also observed that the effect of contextual factors on privacy decisions is mediated by attitudes. These attitudes are cognitive appraisals towards contextual factors. Ideally, we also want the privacy decisions to be free from heuristics such as defaults and framing. This, however, is not the case. We show that defaults and framing not only have a direct effect on privacy decisions, but they influence cognitive appraisals necessary to arrive at those decisions. To investigate these effects, we conducted a web-based controlled experiment involving 1,132 US-based participants recruited via Amazon Mechanical Turk. Each participant was presented with 13 scenarios. Each scenario, including the one on the slide, was a combination of five different contextual factors which had multiple levels. We tested 4,608 scenarios this way. This is how our participants saw the experimental conditions. They read the scenario and answered two types of questions. First, whether they would enable or disable this scenario, which is a behavioral question, and five more questions which are about their attitudes towards these scenarios, such as comfort, appropriateness, and risk. The defaults and framing were manipulated specifically for decision question, and both had three different levels. Defaults were manipulated as enable by default, disable by default, and no default. Framing was manipulated as positive, negative, and neutral. While analyzing the data, we created generalized linear mixed effects regression model. In line with existing research, we noticed that defaults and framing do have a main effect on privacy decisions. We did not find interaction effects between defaults and framing. However, we did find two-way interaction effects between attitudes and defaults and attitudes and framing. The y-axis on these plots represents the regression estimates of the effects of attitudes on privacy decisions. If you look at the left plot, you will notice that the regression estimates of attitudes are consistently higher in absence of defaults. More interestingly, in case of framing, that is the plot on the right, the effect of certain attitudes like appropriateness and usefulness is higher in case of positive framing as opposed to negative neutral framing. This goes on to show that in certain cases, the framing can even reverse the effect of attitudes. Let's look at logistic regression plots. Ideally, for an attitude, what should happen is that the disabled default should be more effective compared to no default in presence of negative attitudes. That is, the negative default should support people to disable a scenario when their attitude towards that scenario is negative, and vice versa. However, what our data shows is that this is reversed. In case of comfort, the disabled default has almost similar effect as no defaults for participants with negative attitudes towards the scenarios, whereas the enable default pushes people to make enable decision even when the attitude is negative. Our study also found three-way interaction between framing, collection concerns, and attitudes. You can find more details about these interesting results in our paper. Based on the results, we conclude that nudges can have unintended consequences. We show this using our results from interaction effects where the effect of cognitive appraisals on decisions is reduced in presence of defaults, pointing to the possibility that defaults and framing reduce deliberation towards the context. As for future designs of smart home privacy systems, the use of defaults is in fact a balancing act. On one hand, we need people to make numerous decisions in really short time. On the other hand, we also need to ensure optimal decision quality. One potential solution is to use user-tailored defaults. We discuss these in another research paper and we welcome you to take a look at it. Please take a look at our paper and feel free to reach out in case of any questions. Thank you so much for listening.